Hello, boys and girls. I've had the distinct pleasure of learning new things. <laughs> and of course, just like everything else, er, excuse me, everyone else, when something new happens, it makes you really think after you're somewhat startled, no, um, anxious, nervous, okay, a little bit nervous, we'll just say a little nervous, how's that, not even a lot nervous, and you know, this happens to, well, let me back up, so I went to the doctor to get my meds filled, and for the first time in a very long time, this young lady started asking me things that other people had not asked me. And I was very happy about that since this is a first for this community hospital, Valley, uh, Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. And, you know, I've lived in other cities and I've gone to other hospitals that are much better. Well, they treat people better and the flow of the system is better. I'm not necessarily complaining about the people other than the board of directors and whoever writes those silly mandates and laws that they have because, yeah, they just aren't doing the best for patients, I think. So I was fortunate enough to be held over for two days. Yeah, they didn't let me come home because, of course, my blood pressure is too high. Well, my blood pressure has always been too high, and I'm not saying it's a good thing. And and just for the record, it doesn't just happen, you know, uh, I, I'm not diabetic, thank God. But, it, you know, high blood pressure, anemia, anemia too, uh, diabetic, they don't just happen to fat people, just so you know. Thyroid problems don't just happen to this person or that person. It happens to every kind, type of person, okay? So... I went there for my knees, of course, and to try and help them get better. They had forgotten all about my knees until the second day after I was there saying, Hey, I'm, I may as well go home. You pumped me full of, what, ten, okay, honestly, maybe only seven different meds while I was had that lovely night stay there. That is the worst place to be if you ever want to even take a nap is in a hospital man anyway so I'm saying this partly so when you do have insurance like I did at one time when I was making $25 an hour being an executive secretary admin even as a receptionist when I was making good money and and worked for huge companies here in the Silicon Valley did I take advantage of that no not till last year. <laughs> and then, of course, you go, you're starting to see the doctor and you're starting to learn more about tests and, and why my body is changing and how it's changing. And, oh, yeah, appreciate your youth is right because I tell you, all these changes are not any fun whatsoever. So, I'm leaving the hospital. That took like 45 minutes. Will some nurse or doctor please explain to me why does it take so long to check out? Didn't take that long to check in, you know? Anyway, I knew there was going to be problems because the finance lady was already at my bedside. Your papers are up. It's time to renew. And I'm like, it can't be. I was here July 19th. My year can't be up already. Yeah, it's up. That's not right. I came home and looked at my papers again. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Anyway, I finally kicked and stomped and, and pleaded and all that good stuff. So she shot me again in the stomach. My blood pressure went from 2 whatever down to 170. So they finally, he's, she, he's, blah, blah, blah. the nurse, oh, she's so sweet. Susan, I can't think of your last name. You're so wonderful. I love you. Um, it says, Dr. Kim says, you know, if it's just, if it's below 200, you could go home. And I'm like, because, you know, it's not like I don't have nothing to do. I mean, I know I'm single, but hey, I have two marketing clients. 
I have, you know, people that want readings and I'm not out to be healing anybody, least of all give much of a reading. So, you know, I had to postpone that because I don't think that's very fair. You should have 100% of me and 1,000% of spirit. And if I can't hear them, you don't get the 1,000%. But anyway, I didn't. I canceled all that stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm just thinking back on all that stuff Mama said that we didn't want to believe or hear. Yeah, she was right. <laughs> Should have listened. So that's why now I'm suggesting to you to listen. <laughs> it ain't fun, but you know what? If I would have fixed my teeth totally after that one dentist pulled the wrong tooth, I wouldn't be in this lisping mess right now, you know? Or, 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 or. Because when you're younger, it's easier to exercise. Now that I'm older and I found out how much I weighed. Not 300, but pretty darn close. Okay, pretty close, not pretty darn close. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with myself. I, I thought surely I weighed 300 pounds. But I don't. Thank God. Only 280. But you know what? It ain't 300, so I'm happy for that. I'm going to find some place to go swimming in a warm pool so I got so I can have some sort of exercise in the cool winter air. Um, so I came home, ate something, went straight to bed, looked at my paperwork, have a heart, heart cardio, whatever, stress test thing. I don't know if they're the same or not. I just know that dang thing, piece of paper said it takes four hours. So anywho... Fast forward, I you know, ate, went to bed, slept for 12 hours, thank God. Oh, I slept so good. Okay, so that was yesterday, right? Yeah. So today, I am you know, got up bright and early. Got all the way to the, caught the bus, caught the bus. Caught, no, I didn't, sorry. That's a lie. Uh, I took a cab, caught the buses home. And oh my God, that was just hell. Anyway, so, oh, I'm sorry. I, one point, sorry. Um, so I mean, the I, I've always had high blood pressure. So people ask me, How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? And it's kind of hard to say. That's like saying, What is it like to be a black woman versus an uh, Eskimo woman, Alaskan woman, whatever? I don't know how to tell you something that's been the same for 51 years. I, I don't know how to say it. So I try, I did pretty good. So the doctor looks at me, he says, Oh, the knee doctor came in, finally, and we did some tests, yada, yada, yada. So, I'm like, okay, doc, I don't mean to be rude, but is this going to take much longer? Because, you know, I'm getting older and a bladder. Well, you know, we got to go. <laughs> and and he's, he laughs. He says, oh, Miss Harris, you are the funny one. I said, my mother is Miss Harris, okay? I'm just Tosh. Just Tosh, doc, okay? Um, He says, no, I'm through. Just, you know, let's do four tests, the hand lift pull, pull, a push against, lift, whatever, and, uh, and, and he left, oh, and he was on his way out, and I said, okay, good, I'm gonna go, he said, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, the bathroom was probably, oh, let's see, realistically, because you know I'm not good at feet and stuff, maybe, maybe five feet away, he says, well, hold on, I'm gonna get you a nurse, I said, are you kidding me, and he looked at me like I lost my mind, and I said, don't give me that look, Doc. I've had it from 25 other Docs coming in, poking me, taking 52 vials of blood. Poke, poke, poke. Got this shot. Got that shot. Got lots of shots. Okay? I said, don't look at me crazy. I know I could be dead, but you know what? I'm not. And I ain't gonna be. Because I'm not in there. Okay, that's my point right there. I need a nurse to walk me to the bathroom. Really? Come on now. I understand how you might see that and I realize I need to take my physical life more seriously than I do okay so I'm thinking then hmm am I really wrong but if I'm wrong then that means everything I believe in is a lie so am I a hypocrite because you know death doesn't bother me I could I, I can die it would be okay I could go home it'd be nice knowing all y'all you know, I, I'll still be talking to you. Don't be crying and boohooing because, hey, you're the one in mourning, not me, and there's no reason for that. 
Anywho, so I spent a long time thinking since it took heck of long for them to get my stupid paperwork ready. Um, and thank you, Chris, for picking me up. I appreciate it. So I get ready to go to my cardiology appointment test thing I'm a Jiggerdale that's going to take four hours. Oh, and since I'm fat, I might have to come back the next day. Ugh. Went there, wrong day. It's not till the 9th. So I'm frustrated about that. And how could I, you know, just not thinking, being upset, frustrated, whatever. So... I take a long walk. Well, probably for you it's not long, but for my big behind, it is long walk back to the pharmacy. I mean, I'm sorry, the ER room, so I could get some of my papers, paperwork started for finances, right? Pick that up. Go to the pharmacy. Waited for three and a half hours. Three, pharmacy people, why does it take three and a half hours to put 14 pills in five bottles? That's all they let me have until they know that they can get blood out of me again and pay. Even though they already know I can't pay. What is that cracking sound? Anyway. Um, anyway, sat there for three and a half hours, three hours, three and a half hours. Walk back, find a social worker so I can get a better, different, regular, normal, uh, what do you call it? Pride Mary doctor. <coughs> Excuse me. Walk back to the, um, wait, went to the, um, Richard Jigger's office. And I had to sit down. Because I'm getting dizzy and huffing and puffing. <laughs> I haven't been drinking my tea, that's what it is. Bad Tasha, bad Tasha. Yeah, I know. See, but see, I know you're saying, how could you forget to do that? Well, it's easy. Once you feel good, then you forget stuff. Can you remember what you had for dinner last Tuesday? No, so leave me alone. <laughs> this is going to happen to you, too, at some point. With something really, really bad you want to remember, like that guy's phone number, or where you found that Prada bag on sale. It's going to happen to you, too, and then I'm going to be laughing at your behind. Uh-huh. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, walked, oh, probably about another half mile to the finance place. Sat there for three hours. Anywho, I'm saying all this. Oh, and I ended up forgetting all my stuff that they need in Deborah's car. Oh, gosh, I'm such a dork sometimes. Um, so I have to go back again. Young ones, older ones, that don't have arthritis. <laughs> oh, not that I have arthritis. The doctor says I have arthritis. And for all you smart ass people, don't even write it. I'll just delete it. Um, yeah, I took my herbs and I took my two new meds one's a high blood pressure water pill and the other one is another high blood pressure pill so i'm saying all this so you young ones while you're feeling good right now take care of yourself and you say but i feel fine yeah but we never know go give some blood pee poop some stuff <laughs> just get it over with men go have your your prostate check. Women, go have your boobs checked. Just because you can. Because you have insurance. You can do it. For those of us that don't have insurance, we have to go to the community clinic. And I'm and I'm not even saying they're all bad. They're not. Highland Hospital in Oakland. Oh, my God. I, maybe, I just, maybe this is just telling me move back to Oakland. Because that hospital, oh, my God. They are so on the ball all the time. Well, when I live there, anyway. And I haven't heard nothing bad, bad about them since, so take care of you.
right now, whether you like it or not, because you want to stick around for your kids, family, loved ones, family you about to have, will have, meet one day, you know. Even though other than high blood pressure and my knees, and my knees, well, that's another video. So, yeah, just take care of yourself. Why not? If you can, do it. Because when you get 51, and, and don't don't give me this, well, you know, there's lots of healthy people. There are. But I'm sure even Cher has something wrong with her. Tina Turner has something wrong with her. You know, all them exercise people have a, a little something. A little something, something. I'm not saying I wish nothing bad on anybody ever. But I'm just saying nobody's perfect. Okay? And I thank God for the shape that I'm in and the shape that I have. Because, honey... <laughs> Sometimes being at <laughs> being at a hospital is just like being at Walmart. <laughs> Ooh, child, let me stop <laughs> being mean to folks. But I'm telling you, if you want a good laugh, just go sit at a hospital. For real. Oh, my goodness. It's so funny. <laughs> so now I got some extra hoops to jump through. Since I didn't exercise more, and I didn't save more, and, 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 and. But you know, life is still good. And getting better. And that's all there is to that. Just good and getting better. But I want you to, women, we got to talk to women more. Men, you need to talk to each other more too. So the boys will know when they grow up, this could happen, that could it's a possibility. I'm not saying I wish it on you. I'm just saying to, you know, like we women, we need to talk more to our little girls, even about menopause. Excuse me. We need to talk to each other about menopause. Men, we need to talk to men about menopause. Men, you need to talk to us about your prostate and your, and your balls and stuff. So we, so we be knowing, you know, and talk to each other and be more knowledgeable of each other's body you know so if something happens and i see you on the street and you fall out the first thing i know check obviously is your heart and lungs those are clear okay what's next you know just like in a car first thing you check is what spark and uh gas right i think so i think i'm right but you know we just gotta be careful, love each other, watch out for each other. Keep our spirit up with our body and I'll keep our body up with our spirit. That was the other thing I was gonna share, but I was kinda embarrassed and didn't want to share it, but what the hell? Ain't no shame. I had just speaking of listening to spirit, I had just asked spirit, um oh no no no, he told me one simple thing. What was it? Oh, to put tape on the tank. And sure enough, I said, oh, guys, I'm so tired. Let me just keep Jake in his tank. I know you guys can put your little spirit finger there on his door and not let nothing happen. Sure enough, the next morning, he's gone. <laughs> so I'm looking and looking and looking. Anyway, the point of that is I didn't listen, did I? No, I didn't. And if I didn't listen then, what else am I not listening to? Yeah, what else are you not listening to? I mean, that's kind of embarrassing to have to... I, well, I didn't have to admit it, but that's a kind of embarrassing to admit to people. But you know what? It's all good. Now that I've said it out loud, I will never, ever let that happen again, huh? No, she will not. So, keeping my spirit with my body and my body with my spirit and so forth and so on. and It's going to be always greater later. Always. Oh, sorry, i got to turn my fan back on. It's always greater later. More wisdom, more knowledge, more... But you know what? We can only have wisdom and knowledge if we talk to each other. And not just, you know, talk to spirit all the time. I know plenty of people who went cuckoo just talking to spirits all the time. That's a story for another day. Um, yeah, if you can, take a day off. What? As a matter of fact, why don't you and your honey take a day off? You know, he can go get his thing checked and you can get the girls checked or 
he, you and her can get the girls checked and he and him can get the boys checked and, you know, talk about it to each other. I'm just holding it. Everything sh should not be a secret. It's different if your family is just, you know, super duper religious or something. But anyway, that's another topic. Um, yeah, if we talk to each other more about stuff, like, you know, I wrote a letter to a few people that I feel very, very, very close to, to get their opinion on, you know, these new meds I'm taking and all that good stuff, you know, because it never hurts, it never hurts to have someone say, hey, have you tried da 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 da, or did you think about, you know, da 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 x y z, ask your doctor about such and such and such next time. Okay, we'll do. You know, we all gotta help each other. You're not alone on this world for nothing. So, may as well have some help, ask some questions, see what kind of reply you get. Keep on keeping on, you know. This isn't this isn't any fun for me, though I know just being at the hospital, there's billions and billions of other people so way, way, way worse than me, you know, and I'm not making this video to say, oh, poor me, or whatever. I'm saying this video so you, as a young girl, would know, hey, I might cross that. Let me see how I can prevent that now. And sometimes you just can't, you know. I know plenty of skinny people that are diabetic and have heart problems and because you know people just assume oh you're fat you sit around eating bonbons and watching soap operas all day you know and that does not that is not the case at all and now that I have gone grown up enough to what is that look back on life um I can see when I was in elementary and when the the, the what I thought was little aches and pains. Of course, I'm a stubborn Aries, and I won't admit to anybody that I'm in pain. I'm I'm just stubborn like that. I won't, cause I don't want to make you down or sad or whatever, just cause I am. Yeah, I know it sounds silly. I'll I'll stop that eventually. But it just makes me wonder if I would have remembered to tell my mom when I got home. Hey, you know my chest kind of hurt when I was forced to run around that damn track four times or you know whatever could I have you know coulda shoulda woulda thing but hey I don't know ask your kids how do you feel after PE I always felt horrible cause they make you they make you feel crazy or stupid or whatever if you don't run that you remember full mile Oh my god, I remember looking back on the days, it felt like I was going to have a freaking heart attack. But why didn't I think to tell my mom? I don't know. Well, I always had heavy periods, so quite often I got excused from playing basketball. Something else I never understood. You know, but, um... You know, boys and girls, talk to your mom and dad. Remind, tell them, remind them. You know, and, and I know a lot of us don't like going to the doctors, especially young ones. It's not a bad thing, because honey, you know what? Worst came to worst, I'd rather have a shot of something, needle in the arm, throat, eyeball, something, instead of being sick. You know? It sucked when I found out I had keloid in my ears. Um, yeah, look it up. So, I had to take a shot in the earlobe every Wednesday and then have chemotherapy because the doctor was afraid it could be cancer, it could be this. Let's just radiate it. Yeah, that'll work. Hurt like hell getting a, a needle in the ear, but you know what? It's like now, you just gotta buck up and take it because I'd rather have a shot than be sick. To me, a needle just means help. That's fine, I'll take all the help I can get. So, 
you help me, I help you, we all help each other live and grow and be better, you know? That's all we can really do. And I'm going to be better and eat better and go swimming someplace around here. Keep getting better. And one thing I never thought I wanted to admit, because you just think you're making stuff up in your head. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to tell you what I thought, but I will say I was shocked to hear the doctor say that you're, you could be making yourself worse if you tried to push yourself. Really said, do you walk? And I said, of course I walk. I have to walk. You guys, you guys said it was good to walk, but you guys also think I should be 135 pounds. He says, well, I see, yeah, I know I could be better. Uh-huh. But whoever wrote that book, Minute for Little Tiny Asian People, has ain't nobody. My mother might be 140 pounds, but she's a size 6, which is what she's been all her life, so... I'm just saying, I think God meant us all to be different things. And I didn't, I don't think God necessarily meant everybody to have, you know, 170 over 90, whatever the hell it's supposed to be, for every single person under the sun. I just don't think that. I'm not being stupid by pretending or covering it up. I know my ass needs to lose some weight and eat a lot better. And I'm trying. <laughs> That's all I can say about that is I'm trying, you know. Because then you get the other thing. Well, just eat special and fruit. That's cheap. No, it's not. I don't know where you live. Unless you live in Mississippi where, you know, a pound of something costs 99 cents. No, one little bucket of, of fresh uh, natural berries is 12 bucks here in California in the city, Colum Valley. Sure, you can go to the 99 cent store and you can get all their leftovers, but... It'd be nice for a change not to have leftovers <laughs> for for 99 cents and they're turning colors they ought not be. You know, when you go to the good drugs, the good drugstore, the good store, Trader Joe's or Whole, Whole Foods or something like that. And yeah, there's a lot of inexpensive things in there, but you know what? I couldn't afford right now to go there and buy a month's worth of groceries. Of all the things that I know I need to be eating only. So hey, as soon as I get six more um, posting clients, I look forward to that. That's my goal, to eat, you know, 1% one, 1 chicken <laughs> and, you know, 99% fruits and veggies. But they just, I, I'll never say never. But the last two times when I did have money to do that for a whole month, it didn't last because it, it just didn't fill me up. And I know I'll adjust and all that good stuff, but it's hard to adjust when you can't keep buying the same good, high-quality foods in high-quality stores, you know? But anywho, I'm trying. I hope you're trying. Let's all... Get better together. No, this is not a, a thing saying, oh, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. No, it's not that. It's just venting. And I thank you for letting me vent. So, love yourself. <clears throat> I love me. I want you to love yourself. I'm going to do better and better and better each and every day and thanks for letting me vent that I feel so much better and I know tomorrow will be better so go have a great day and thanks again I feel like I just lost 10 pounds <laughs> so I'm going to go make me a veggie smoothie. I love you. Love yourself. Okie dokie. Bye bye.